Panginoon ang kapatid na ito to really open his heart. Uh, alam ko po na hindi natin kailangan itago ang ating mga struggles, especially sa larangan po ng sexual. Uh, dahil alam po natin na dito tayo, tinitira po ng tiyablo. Doon mahirap, we thank God for the honor po na pwede po tayong magtagumpay dahil po sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos na buhay na si Kristo Jesus. At upang ipagpatuloy ulit, Amen, at uh, upang turuan pa tayo kung paano natin mapagwagyan ang mga mga struggles na yan. Ano po ba ang mga bayan po natin na tulungan na tulungan na tayo po ng ating kapatid na ito na silipin ang laman ng ating puso. Yung mga sikreto, yung po mga laman ng ating kaisipan, laman ng ating damdamin na hindi natin po uh, ipinaparating kanino man. Nagtatago tayo, nahirapan tayo, bumabagsak tayo. Hindi tayo matagumpay, malungkot tayo. At naniniwala po ako na tuturuan din tayo ng kapatid na ito kung paano po, amen, puri ng Panginoon, magwagi sa tulong ng ating Panginoon. I-welcome po natin ang ating po kapatid sa Panginoon, ang CEO po ng uh, Salt and Light Ventures na nagdadala po kay John Maxwell sa Bansang Pilipinas. Ang ating po kapatid na ito na naniniwala po akong God will speak through him upang tayo po ituluan. I-welcome po natin si Brother R.D. Roberto. Palakpakan po natin ang ating po Panginoon. Dagdala ang palakpak ng mga anak ng Diyos na mga kalakatiman. Come on! Pakita ka sa ating doing conversation. Sabihin niyo sa katabi niyo, hindi ka lang guwapong-guwapong ngayon. Poging-pogi ka pa. Two years ago, I shared with you a message. Si Manong Don invited me to share with you the heart of healing, healing a broken life. Eh, meron ako sinulat na libro noon na called The Heart of Healing, but it was really about the miraculous healing of my wife, Ting Ting, from a uh, uh, life-threatening disease called, disease called lupus. Eh, hindi ko akalain nung pagdating ng uh, conference na ang gusto niya palang uh, he wanted me to talk about uh, sexual healing pala, <laughs> hindi pala physical healing. Tapos, uh, this year, nung nakasibo ko ng uh, invitation ulit to speak. Sabi ni Joe sa akin, Oh, Brother Ardy, can you speak about uh, uh, can you speak at the PK conference again this year? So, sabi ko, oh, sige, sige, ano yung topic? Secret sin. Sabi ko, sumanong doon talaga. Ano, ano, pa, ano pa bang gusto niya ibulgar ko sa buhay ko? <laughs> And for me, it's very challenging because um, uh, as the song says, we are created by God. At alam nyo, He knows the depths of your heart. Nakikita niya ang pinakasulog ng iyong puso. Minsan ang naglinis tayo ng kwarto, di ba? O at misis natin na tayo. Minsan may mga tinatabi tayo, mga dumidumi sa mga sulok-sulok para hindi makita o under the rug. Si Lord nakikita niya lahat ng mga nasa sulok ng ating puso. Lahat ng ating mga sikreto. Kaya parang doon wala naman talagang secret sin eh. Dahil alam talaga ng Diyos kilala ka niya. And that's what we're going to talk about. Before we start, I would like to invite all of you to stand up. Medyo mag-stretch po tayo sa stretch our amazing bodies that God has created by taas po natin na ating kanang kamay at mag-stretch po tayo pupuntang kaliwa. Ayan. Tapos pupuntang kanan. Ayun. Tapos tamat po rin yung katabi niyo at saying, you are blessed. Oh, sige. Sige. Let's remain standing at I want to start by by praying for all of us here. So, tayo po uh, manalangin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. O Diyos Ama, Lord Father, I pray that this will be a time of anointing, Lord Father. I pray that that the truth will be revealed, that life will be restored, that change will happen in the, the hearts of men who are here today. Lord, may those changes just uh, overflow into the homes, into the workplace, Lord Father. May they just be salt and light into this world, Lord. Lord, may ano talagang purpose kaya nandito sila. Uh, hindi lang para ibugar ang ating mga sikreto, pero para malaman nila na talagang mahal, mahal, mahal mo sila, Lord. Kahit, kahit ano man ang tinatago nila sa kanilang mga puso, sa mga kanilang bibdib, sa 
kanilang mga isipan. Lord, uh, I know that you just want to reassure everyone that you are here to set the captives free. Praise you, Lord Father. Lord, I pray that uh, hearts will be open and minds will be open, Lord Father. And I pray that you will speak to me. It will not be my words that will minister to these people, to your sons, but your words, Lord Father. May your Holy Spirit just dwell upon us in this place. This we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. In this pride, I like that video kasi yung nakalagay yung huling lyrics at masin nyo. God sees the depths of our hearts. Kitang-kita niya. Lahat. Lahat. Pero, mahal pa rin tayo. Minsan, meron tayong mga kaibigan, kapamilya, may makitang kabulukan sa atin. Chichis, misa na. At sabihin, ay, ayaw ko na makipag-ugnayan sa taong yan. Tama. Pero ang Diyos, nakikita lahat. At mahal pa rin tayo. Next slide. So, I'm here to talk to you about man's secret sin. Okay? Uh, si... Bishop Jonel was talking about identity kanina kasi pagdating ko dito pati sa outline nakalagay Pastor R.D. Roberto hindi may identity tala hindi naman tala ako Pastor <laughs> I'm really po a, a, um, an author a writer and a businessman and one of the books that I wrote was uh, mga success secrets wala pa akong nasusulat na libro na secret sin pero baka yun ang susunod dahil uh, uh, Today, mas, ma- mas maraming pa kayo malalaman sa akin kaysa sa mga kapamilya ko. <laughs> so, let's go. Maraming pong klaseng sikreto, no? Meron mga secret wish. Ilan po sa atin nag, uh, nag-wish na na uh, yung grand lotto po, magkano na po yung 500 million, eh, mana, mapalunan na natin. Dapat tayo mga Christian, hindi tumatayado, no? Pero, I'm sure meron sa mga din sa atin na Secretly, nag-wish na, ano kaya? Tumaya kaya ako at uh, manalo kaya ako eh, bibigay ko ng mag-reverse tithing naman ako, di, di ba? May mga secret wishes din tayo, secret desires, secret password, secret mission. There are some missionaries who go on a secret mission. Not all secrets are bad. Secret plans. Meron pa nga secret marriage. Meron akong kamag-anak eh, na kilala ko eh, Yeah, he married a very good, uh, close, close relative of mine. At sinabi sa kanya, o, oh, magpapakasal tayo, pero secret, ha? Huwag natin yung pagsasasabi. Kaya ayun pa na, itong taon to, it was discovered uh, about three or four years later, meron pa lang apat na pamilya na iba. Kaya gusto niya ng sekreto. May mga sekretong ganun. And of course, the secret sin of man. And that's what we'll discuss today. Next slide. Hebrews 4.13 says, Wala, nothing, nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of Him to whom we must give an account. In other words, buko tayo lahat. Wala tayo maitatago sa Kanya. And at the end of time, we have to give an accounting. Magre-report tayo. We have to report to our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Father one day will say either well done, good and faithful servant or anak, ano naman itong pinagagagawa mo dito? It will go into an accounting. We have to report. So wala tayong kawala. Wala talaga sikreto. Next slide. I'll show you some examples of uh, mga Hall of Famers na tinatawag natin. Like Magic Johnson. Sino dito mahilig sa NBA o sa basketball? Dito, marami tayo, tayo mga kalalakihan, mahilig tayo sa mga sports. And we are a basketball crazy nation. And uh, those who are Lakers fan, no? Magic Johnson, Hall of Famer. Dito natin next slide. From Hall of Fame to Hall of Shame. Buko. Buko siya. Napilitan siyang ilabas yung sekreto niya dahil siya ay may HIV. Noong 1991, nag-preston siya. And he admitted, yung sekreto niya, I have HIV through having multiple sexual partners. Buko. Walang na, hindi pa rin itago. Next. Who is that? Sila? Kobe Bryant. Seven years ago, ano nangyari sa kanya? Next slide. Buko rin siya. He had to settle a sexual assault case um, when he was in rehab in, in Denver. Uh, he had sex with a 19-year-old 
hotel employee. The hotel employee later divulged the secret, was asking for some money, so he was forced to divulge it in public. And this is what happened. Buko siya. So he had to admit it in public. Hindi niya may tago. At the press con, he apologized to his fans and his wife. And uh, uh, after the press con, ang sabi dun sa mga papers, he gave his wife an apology and may kasamang 8-carat diamond ring. Nakakalaga ng 4 million dollars. Sabi na sa akin, sige na nga. Forgive na kita. Buko si Kobe Bryant. Buko. Hindi niya may tago. Next. Example. Who's that? They say almost the greatest of all time, no? Michael Jordan. Tignan natin. Buko rin ba siya? Ano mong ginawa nito? He had to announce also in a press conference that he was ending his, his um, marriage with his wife, Juanita, after 17 years of marriage. Why? Because of a secret affair that he was having. He tried to pay this woman $250,000 uh, to keep his affair a secret. And ano nangyari? He had to pay his wife the, one of the largest settlements in divorce history, $150 million. $150 million for that secret. Next, buko si Michael Jordan. Eh, itong pinaka-latest, di ba? Ay, doko pa naman ito dati sa golf. Walang iba kundi si Tiger Woods. A winner in the fairway, but when it came to his family, buko siya. He had a secret love life hindi lang isa, marami po. And recently, his wife, Ellen, filed for divorce. And daig pa ang settlement ni Michael Jordan, 150 million kay Michael Jordan. It's reported that uh, Tiger Woods is going to pay his wife a settlement of $500 million. Successful in the fairway, but look what happened to his life. Even his own caddy, who's very close to him, didn't even know that he had a secret life behind you. Hindi ba naman? Eh, magbubukod naman pa talaga tayo eh. Huwag na natin sikreto. Agaya na ito, si Andre Kirilenko, ang ginawa ng asawa niya, uh, Andre Kirilenko is the Utah Jazz. Next slide. Meron siyang allowance. Binigyan siya ng asawa niya. O sige, daming-daming temptations sa NBA. Bibigyan kita na one night of adultery every year. Yan ang allowance mo papayagan kita. Eh, kasi eh, maraming temptations. Eh, di, sige. Mabubuko ka rin naman eh. Bibigyan kita ng allowance. But is that God's design in our life for marriage? Obviously, they don't know that. But, tayo personally, some of us give ourselves that kind of allowance. We keep it a secret to ourselves even if it's not physically manifested, sometimes even in our minds. We give that allowance to ourselves, secretly. But does God know, does He know our thoughts? Does He know, does God know our thoughts? Next slide. Hindi lang sa larangan ng palakasan sa NBA, but pati sa, pati sa church. Si Brother Ted Haggard, heading a five million strong church in the U.S., New Life Ministries. And he was forced, the church forced him out for sexual immorality. He was uh, having paid sex with a male prostitute in a hotel room. At nabuko rin siya because what he thought would be kept secret for a long time, hindi niya akalain na yung binayaran niya eh, eh malalaman na sa pala isang pastor at ibubulgar siya. Buko rin siya. Next. May mas live what, what, uh, uh, church researchers call a double life syndrome. Kahit mga pastor ko, they did a survey of pastors who attended a conference in a hotel. And they asked them as they, they asked them to confess on their way out of the conference if they checked, if they checked the cable TV stations that had pornogra- pornography. And half of the pastors and ministers admitted, said yes. Yes, na tempo ko. I did look at pornography half of pastors. Pastor na po yun. At kung tayo pa kaya. Ikaw. Ako. Meron ba, meron ba tayong tinatago? Tanong niya sa katabi niya, may tinatago ka ba? Sabi niya, secret. <laughs> meron, 
Meron tayong maitatago sa ating kapatid, sa, sa ating mga kasama. Pero, maitatago ba natin yan sa Panginoon? Sabi ng Panginoon, You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. Those secret sins that we hide in the darkness of our mind and our hearts will be, re- will be revealed in the light of His presence. Walang secret sin naman talaga. Jeremiah 23.24 says, Who can hide in secret places that I cannot see? Declares the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth? Declares the Lord. Sinasabihan na tayo ng Panginoon, nakikita ko yan lahat. Eh. Ginawa naman kita, I made the whole universe. Who can hide? Walang makakapagtago. Next, Psalm 139 says, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. Kilala kayo ng Panginoon. You know when I sit and when I rise. Alam niya lang, nakaupo kayo ngayon. You perceive my thoughts from afar and discern my going out and my lying down. Pag nabas sa bahay, pag balik ka sa bahay para matulog, He knows. You are familiar, so back please. You are familiar with all my ways, and even before a word is on my tongue, You, Lord, know it completely. Even before may sasabihin kayo, alam na ng Panginoon kung anong sasabihin nyo. Alam niya. Yes. And so he cries out, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, nandiyan ka. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. God is omnipresent and He's omniscient. He knows where you are. He knows what's, you're, what you're going to say. He knows what's in your mind. Ano pang itatago natin? Next. Ito po yung aking dating secret na aking hindi na. I had a secret life before. When I was growing up, I was very secretive as a child. Marahil dahil uh, gaya ni uh, Bishop John L. I grew up also in a in a family, hindi man po namatay na maagang ang father ko. But he, he was working with the United Nations uh, Commission Fund, uh, Development Fund, and he was always traveling. So siguro sa isang buwan, siguro nakikita ko lang siya isang beses, dalawang beses. And I had a really hard time uh, forming my identity. So I, I looked at other people for my identity. As a child, I was sexually molested by a neighbor. And that episode, um, develop my identity thinking that siguro ganito ako I was blaming myself for those series of episodes where a neighbor would really molest me so in my mind I was thinking siguro ganyan ang patutuwa ko talaga baka kasalanan ko talaga I kept it secret until the day I got married or the day before I got married when I told my wife I kept it secret for a long time and I think that holding that secret inside me um, form, help form my identity. So, meron ako mga secret wishes and desires. So, sa ako, kung ganyan ako, siguro, ito ang mag, be, uh, this is what I am going to become. I don't know if you know this guy. Guwapong-guwapo siya ng kabataan niya. Anyone recognize him? Ang inag-idol ko dati, si Hugh Hefter po. Kung kilala niya po ang Playboy, sana hindi ka kilala, but lahat po siguro ng tao ay eh, nadaanan niya na because of the popularity. But I grew up po, um, Surrounded by Playboy magazines, and growing up, I, I thought to myself, he was he was really my secret idol. Ang, ang pangarap ko sa buhay eh, one day I will become the Hugh Hefner of the Philippines. Iyan ang pangarap ko. I would publish pornography. I would have all the girlfriends uh, that I could have, many wives. Ato po ang ang aking idol. He you know he he was rich. Uh, Playboy makes about 338 million. He had two official wives. Kaya siyang tatlong live-in na girlfriend. And kung sino ma- gusto niyang maka-sexual encounters, uh, mga lahat ng mga playboy, playmates, lahat yun, kinakama po niya. So, garoon ang naging ambisyon ko sa buhay. And, true enough, sabi nga sa Proverbs, diba, sa whatever's in your heart and your mind, eh, you will act out in your life. So, whatever's in a man's heart, whatever man thinketh, so he will be. And this is what happened. I found myself one day 
um, in 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 a project. I was working as an uh, assistant editor in a magazine here in the Philippines. Tapos binigyan po ng sideline, and hindi ko po alam. Uh, before I knew it, I was sitting in this nightclub at pinapapili po sa akin mga babae na i-feature namin sa isang magazine, in-house magazine ng Pegasus Club. So I was, uy, malapit na ako. Ito na eh. Parang ito na siguro yung dahang ko. Pinapapabis na ako ng pornographic material. And I had, and I had uh, what I thought before was the privilege, quote-unquote, the privilege of choosing all the women and dressing them uh, having directing the uh, photography to be featured in this magazine, in-house magazine po ng Pegasus. So sabi ko, ito na siguro yun. And I went to the U.S. Uh, on a scholarship before I went to Stanford and a publishing course. And I actually was about to get the, uh, in my mind already, planning to get the franchise of Playboy magazine here in the Philippines. So yung po ang daan ko. Yung po ang yung po ang naging secret desire and wish ko. I, n- I didn't tell anyone about that. Until God, who is so merciful and amazing, read those plans. And He, and the Lord Jesus freed me. Uh, I had this big project in, uh, um, in Cabrian de Oro. I put together a concert. Nalugi po siya. The most successful failure of that uh, of that concert artist, ako po ang gumawa. And it took that episode to break me. I felt this heaviness in my heart. I felt all the weight of that failure, the bankruptcy, the death. Uh, and I just I just lifted up my arms to the Lord from one day on my bed. I said, God, if you are real, can you lift up this heavy weight from my chest? And literally, I could feel a wind coming in the room and literally like blowing away this this weights that were on my chest. And then my wife, who was still my girlfriend then, invited me. Well, she didn't really invite me. She said she was leaving me. Akala ko iwala na po ko, pero she was going to a Bible study. As na ko po sa kanya, sasama ko na ako sa iyo. And that night, I remember, the Bible became alive. And I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I was set free. And I claim to this promise, John 8, 36. And it said there, If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Can you say that with me? If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Kung pinalaya ka ng Panginoon Jesus, malaya ka na talaga. Naniniwala ba kayo doon? Amen? Buti pa kayo. Ako, naniwala rin. Pero later on, sabi ko, bakit ganyan? You know, I was practically, uh, before, I be- before I came to Christ, my reading material, regular re- reading material, were, were pornographic materials. Playboy, penthouse, steamy novels, etc., etc. Nandiyan niya sa tabi ko, hindi po ako natutulog nang hindi po nagbabasa ng pornographic material. It was like, uh, it was like taking coffee for me. So sabi ko, I am free. Lord, I am free. Uh, uh, when I became a Christian, I started by burning all of those materials from the house. Muti na ako tumawag yung kapitbahay ng bumbero sa laki ng sa laki ng apoy. Ganoon po kadami ang pornographic material na nasa bahay. But I burned it. And I thought I would be free. But then, somehow, kahit kristyano na po tayo, the enemy comes in and whispers to us, hindi ka naman talaga malaya eh. Your flesh, di ba? Your body still prays for it. Sige na. Balik ka doon. Masarap. And I, I have this analogy. Uh, last year, in November, I was in Kenya with some uh, pastors and writers and authors for a publishing conference. And nagpunto po kami sa isang uh, elephant orphanage. And they're baby elephants, no? Maliliit sila. And I remember the story of how baby elephants are tamed when they are recruited to go to the circus. That's the next slide. Ano pong ginagawa? Baby elephants are tied with a metal, with a steel chains. No? Steel chains para hindi po sila makawala at mag-groom. Uh, 
uh, in the wilderness or in the streets where the circus is. Ang kita niyo, di ba? May, I don't know if you can see it, but when they're babies, they really try so hard to get away from from that stake. Hagan dumugudong pa, dumudugo na yung paan nila. Masakit na masakit. So what do they do? They stop trying. And I and I liken that to to us before we receive Christ. Before we receive Christ, by our own effort, we try as hard as we can to just go away from sin. We try, we try with our own willpower, positive self-talk. We know that our self, our conscience tells us that it's not good to look at pornographic material or to 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 get into any secret sin that you may have. It doesn't have to be sexual. And we try to free ourselves, pero hindi kaya, hindi po kaya kung wala ang Panginoon sa atin. And so we realize and we just give up and say, ganito, talagang ganito, I'm held captive, hindi na ako aalis. And so, once the baby elephant gives up, what do they do? Lumaki na po sila, hindi na po kailangan itali ng metal or steel chains ang elepante. What do they do? Ay, rope lang eh. Isang gano'n na ng elepante, tanggal. But once the elephant sees that there is some kind of tale or, or rope, ang nasa isip niya talaga ay hindi pa ako malaya. I will not even try to go away and leave and be free. And when I was looking at this, sabi ko, parang ako, parang tayo rin to, no? Once we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, we are deceived by the enemy to think that we still have a steel chain on our legs. He deceives us and says, hindi ito pang malaya. Hindi ka naman nag-ibay. But what does God's word say? You are a new creation. Doesn't it say that? But in our minds, we nagpapaloko tayo sa demonyo. But look at this. You have the power. We shouldn't be deceived. The Gospel of Luke says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on what? Serpents and scorpions and over all of All of the power of the enemy. At ito pa. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hindi na dudugo ang iyong paa kung gusto mong makalaya. He has given us that authority. But why do many of us feel that we are entrapped? Because of guilt? Because of lies? The enemy whispers into your head that you're no good? Pastor, pastor ka pa? Nagsaserve ka sa church? Patingin-tingin ka naman dito? Kunyari ka pa, nagsaserve ka. O ano itong ginagawa? Ano nasa isip mo? Accusations. And we stand sometimes to fall and believe them. But God's word says we have the power. We have the power of not a baby elephant or an elephant that's tied to a stake. But we have the power of this elephant that can trample. Trample the enemy. Amen? We have the power to trample the enemy. That's what that word says. And you must believe it. You must claim that. So, wag na tayo magpagawa You have power to renounce the silence and silence the enemy. Sabi sa Psalms that you have ordained praise to silence the enemy. Two years ago, I gave you steps. How to become, how to silence the enemy, how to become pure and holy again. And I'll just give you those, uh, those that acrostic again from sinabi ko sa, sa inyo sa umpisa. Sabi niyo sa katabi na pogi kayo. Naalala niyo ba ang ibig sabihin ng pogi from two years ago? Pogi. P. You want to be pogi in the eyes of God and in the eyes of your brothers? P. Be a prayerful man again. This is just a review. O. Obedience. G. Be a gentleman. Many of us don't realize that when we, those women who are caught in prostitution and pornography are victims themselves. They've been victims of rape, 
of molestation. They could be your, they could be, they are someone's daughter. A gentleman does not take advantage of someone else's daughter. And I is integrity, not to have a double life. Have an accountability partner. See, Ted Haggard said that his sin really, oh, he did sin sexually, but his sin was really pride. He started to sin, and he didn't have the humility to confess it to a brother. He didn't have an accountability. Until it got to be a habit, he thought the devil uh, um, deceived him to think that he would never be discovered. So, Pogi, prayerful, obedient, gentlemanly, and someone with integrity. Don't live a double life. Kaya mga kaibigan, no more secret sin, no more guilt. God loves you just the same. He loves you just the same. Wala po kayong maitatago sa Kanya. Mahal pa rin kayo. Whenever I hear that song by Chris Tomlin, Indescribable, and I hear the lyrics, God sees the depths of your heart, but He loves you the same. Naisip ko yung kabudukan ng ang aking puso. Pero nakikita niya at mahal pa rin ako. <clears> okay, <throat> magpaloko. Can you read this with me? Romans 8, 38, 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor angels nor demons nor anything else in all creation what does it say? Nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And if anyone tells you differently, you rebuke him. If anyone or anything the enemy tells you differently, you rebuke that thought. And you start praising God. Amen? You start praising God. Jesus Christ died for all of our sins, even the secret ones. Even the secret ones. He knows all our secrets, but again, he loves you just the same. He loves us just the same. Luke 4 says, Jesus came to set the captives free. Who wants to be free? Now, let's be honest. Who has this secret that they're keeping and wants to be freed from that? Raise your hands. For God did not call us to uncleanness, but to holiness. Okay. Let's go to the next verse. Next slide, please. Sabi sa 2 Timothy, He wants us to be cleansed because it says, Whoever is cleansed, whoever cleanses himself from what is unclean, who separates himself from contact with contaminating and corrupting influences, will then himself be a vessel set apart and useful for honorable and noble purposes, consecrated and profitable to the master, fit and ready for any good work. God wants to cleanse you and me. Who wants to be useful for the Lord? I do. Who wants to be cleansed? Who wants to be cleansed? Let's cleanse ourselves. So, I usually don't do this, but I myself need prayer. I still struggle. I still have, I still struggle with thoughts. I still struggle with uh, the past. I still struggle with the future. And I want to be cleansed as well. So, with this last five minutes, I want to call any one of you who wants to be cleansed, I want to call forward any one of you who wants to be set free. And I'd like you all to stand up. Can we all stand up, please? And those of you who want prayer, I'd like to call on uh, uh, Manong Don and our pastors here in the front. 
those of you who would like to come here to the front and ask and and who want prayer, who want to be set free, who need prayer, who are struggling with any secret, you don't have to tell that secret. You just need to come forward and show your willingness to the Lord to be clean. And I'll be the first one to do that here in the front. And I'll ask our pastors and um, our, our good bishop to pray for us as we close this session. Worship team. Kasama na po ako dito sa magpapapray at uh, I'd like Manong Don, Bishop, if you could pray for all of us. Ako po ay isa sa inyo. At sumasali po sa inyo. All those who want to be prayed and would like to be set free. If you have a past that you would like to be set free from, set free from guilt, set free from the accusations of the enemy, come forward. Oh Lord, you search me. You know my way. As we begin to come forward, I don't know Thank you. 
Nag-share po ako sa inyo na dati, eh, gusto ko po maging publisher ng Playboy, di ba? Ewan ko kung nandiyan pa yung last slide ko, kung nandiyan pa. Pero, yung patutuko lang ito lang eh, 
God is really faithful and amazing. Amen? He is faithful to complete the work that He started in us. Kung dati po ako ay gusto maging isang Playboy publisher at uh, author. Sige. Uh, pinakahuling slide. Last slide. Ayan po. From Playboy publisher po, ngayon po eh, ako po ay nagpapublish po ng mga good news gospel class na gaya po na itong ang buhay na hindi bitin. <laughs> Praise God. The enemy stands for evil. God is going to complete the good work in you. Salamat po. At, uh, at I'm going to pray for you. Huh? At uh, 